Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. Dramatization unfolding in Hollywood at this moment, and it has everybody talking clearly. Diddy's been standing out as truly newsworthy since country security visited him, and word on the road is he's been singing like a canary spilling mysteries left, and this moment has got a ton of superstars raising a ruckus around town, including, in all honesty, Sovereign Bay herself. She is purportedly breaking out in a cold sweat subsequent to getting connected to Diddy's legitimate difficulties, and is there any valid reason why she wouldn't be since, supposing that the tales are to be accepted? Her husband Jay-Z may very well be next in line for some undesirable. Consideration from the federal authorities? Now, we as a whole know Jay-Z and Diddy go way back like best buds, for life sort of back, yet as per a few insiders, their security runs further than just the music industry. Buddies, there's purportedly some obscure stuff, including abuse of ladies that they've been stirred up in for quite a long time. And they probably won't have the option to squirm out of it this time, see things being what they are. The federal authorities have been taking a gander at them for a really long time, and they have been taking a gander at them hard for quite a while, assuming there's one thing about the federal authorities, they never take their actions until they have their realities right. And they have figured out how to construct a sealed shut body of evidence against their suspects. With no wriggle room, it frequently requires months or years for the federal authorities to fabricate their case. Yet, when they capture somebody and bring charges against them, then it's over they have a conviction pace of over 95%, and that ought to let you know all that the federal authorities don't play when they take action on a suspect. And for Diddy's situation, the federal authorities have been taking King Agander at him for no less than 11 years now. Since back in 2013, we figured out they've been examining individuals concerning Diddy's supposed revenue in young men. A court record from a case in 2013 noticed that during a post-op interview meeting with government specialists, James Roseman, the music supervisor, turned top dog, was allegedly interrogated concerning the Sikhs' inclinations of performers, including whether Shay Diddy Combs was having Sikhs in. Associations with underage young men, as per a U.S. area court recording and investigator, then got some information about performers' ex-inclinations, including yet not just seeing comms having intercourse associations with underage young men, so in the event that they have been taking a gander at Diddy for that long, best except they've been taking a gander at Jay-Z for that long too, and it didn't simply begin with due to Cassie's claim strangely, the information on Jay-Z going down with Diddy isn't fan hypotheses. Since individuals with dependable intel have guaranteed, there is purportedly likewise an open examination of Jay-Z, by the federal authorities, and as all of you have most likely heard, Diddy got busted by country security two or three days prior, which lets us know the examination concerning Diddy is at its pinnacle, and evidently so is Jay-Z currently evidently Beyonce's dagnab out in the background word in the city, from some insider is that she's low-key panicked on the grounds that this show could mean she's going to lose all that she's immersed her marriage, and we should be genuine losing your rep in Hollywood that resembles a horrible situation and you understand what's compelling the tattle laugh. Actory Go Wild reports that Beyonce is thinking about stirring things up around town button on her union with Jay-Z. This is allegedly why Beyonce is pushing out her hair care items and putting out another collection at record speed and keeping in mind that definite the carryout was in progress. It appears to be she's optimizing things to pile up mountains of money before Jay-Z's supposed obscure dealings with Diddy hit the fan blogger Storm and Rose ringing and affirming that Beyonce is very much at where of the tempest not too far off, and she's hustling to remain in front of everything word on the road, is there as of now carrying on with discreet lives, and we may very well be near the precarious edge of seeing quite possibly of the greatest Hollywood separation yet cuz Jay ceased purportedly. Next in line to have his skeleton shook out of the storeroom, and part of the motivation behind why they have, they previously carrying on with isolated lives, and we may truly see quite possibly of the Jeep. Rita's separation in Hollywood is on the grounds that Jay-Z is up close to the uncovered, he will not have the option to stop this, and she knows it, and he knows it too now, what occurs next? Well, as per storm, it will be a hurricane once Jay-Z's uncovered for his cloudy past, we could see Beyonce. Petitioning for legal separation, and keeping in mind that she probably won't spill all the tea in a meeting, you can wager their marketing specialists going to prepare some PR enchantment, portraying a couple who floated separated yet fabricated a wonderful coexistence, yet sincerely, is anybody truly stunned? I mean, there have been murmurs for a long time that their relationship was holding tight by a some say it's forever, been all the more a business game plan rather than a fantasy sentiment, they
stayed together on the grounds that it checked out and kept their status as a definitive influence couple, unblemished so recollect your relationship was a business relationship monetary to get to the top tier. Oh, be tycoons, yet presently, it appears as though that strength may be disintegrating with this dramatization, whirling around Jay-Z and their marriage. Beyonce is likely to increase the intensity more than ever. And here's the thing, it's not Jay-Z's wardrobe that has a few skeletons. Beyonce has her own portion of mysteries. Beyonce is a legend altogether, yet we should not imagine her process being all daylight and rainbows. She's had her fair share of the show, very much like every other person. There's been reports drifting around about Beyonce screwing with different ladies in the business. Take Crown Marie, for instance, back in 2005, a youthful headband. Marie scored an arrangement with Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records. She was skilled as well as staggering, and she was just 17 when Jay-Z's wing headdress dropped to encourage her in her most memorable collection. It was a moment hit, and come on, what's better compared to having Jay-Z as your task's father and being delegated the princess of Day Jam Records? Headband was residing the fantasy, no question. Additionally, around a similar time, you have a youthful Rihanna and new joining with Day Jam Records, now Cran Marie was at that point the authority princess of the name, taking all the consideration being a migrant from Barbados. Rihanna was somewhat in the shadows, contrasted with her seriously encouraging mate. Yet all that flipped when Sovereign Bay concluded she was flowing more with Rihanna. Unexpectedly, the mark dynamic moved and the headband got the LA. Reed let the cat out of the bag in his diary, saying that at first they thought Crown was the greater star among her and Rihanna, yet the Sovereign Honeybee stepped in, causing them to rethink and Mark Rihanna Reed said we had an in-house organization grandstand and Beyonce turned out to be there. With Jay-Z's headband, Marie Rihanna, a four-year-old young lady bunch called Dark Butterfly and Neo, performed at the mark. We figured Sierra Marie would be a major star. We invested more energy in her, accomplished more work on her, focused harder on her, and a chime went off for me anyway. After the feature, Beyonce became dependent on me and said that Rihanna's a young lady. She's many as a little poke from Beyonce. The executive chose to give Rihanna a more critical look. Quick forward to 2006, and they hit up T.I. Amari with a call, not an extravagant letter, a call presumably made by a few staff, and what for? Well, no one truly knows. Imagine getting the call without a legitimate heads up from a person you saw as the mentor. Tia spilled the tea, saying Jay-Z himself never tried to give her the news. She said Jay-Z didn't call me to let me know if things played out differently. Headdress might have been the present Rihanna or a major headband thinking of her as unquestionable ability, yet unfortunately her pinnacle popularity window was from 2005 to 2006 since that day in Beyonce's say, so she's been hustling as a striving craftsman with only one. Hit in her possession one more craftsman that was purportedly likewise hushed by Beyonce was Blue Cantrell. Back in the mid 2000s, she was a major name in R&B, keeping Beyonce on his tracks, like hit him up style and inhale where get. Ting over diagrams wherever blue is ablaze. Yet here's the kicker following quite a while of shaking the scene she evaporated from the public eye. Given her undeniable ability record names were essentially battling about her ultimately blue, chose to move with Asta Records, she dropped her most. Memorable single hit him up style in April 2001, and it exploded like genuinely exploded the tune. She not only caught the number two spot on the board Hot 100, but additionally earned her a Grammy nomination for Best Female R&B Vocal Execution. Blue Cantrell was riding the wave of achievement in those days, around the same time her presentation collection went platinum, and things continued to look into 2003 when she dropped her second collection. Self-contradicting that one incorporated the hit inhale, highlighting Sean Paul, and procuring her a second Grammy nomination this time for Best R&B Collection. Presently, here's where it gets fascinating in the midst of every one of her accomplishments. Blue had the steady tail zooming around, saying she was in some extreme quarrel with Beyonce. Now, Beyonce was starting off her performance vocation with Hazardously Enamored, and she was at the beginning of her thing with Jay-Z. Blue then again was tight with Jay and dropping R&B graphs around. At a similar time, you can think about how the tattle began. At whatever point, people got some information about her and Jay-Z. Blue, then again, was tight with Jay and dropping R&B graphs around. At a similar time, you can think about how the tattle began. At whatever point people got some information about her and Jay-Z. 
Blue then again was tight with J and dropping R and B graphs around. At a similar time, you can think about how the tattle began. At whatever point, people got some information about her and Jay-Z. Blue then again was tight with J and dropping R and B graphs around. At a similar time, you can think about how the tattle began. At whatever point people got some information about her and Jay-Z, she generally killed it, saying there was nothing continuing, despite the fact that she let the cat out of the bag to Wendy Williams once, conceding she had eyes for him. She said, I actually have a keen interest in him now that she spilled it. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.